Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam and then click on Exit and then you can relaunch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer and then check. Now, the next step is to try DX12 or Vulkan in the, uh, when, when you're launching the game. So click on Play. And over here, you can see play peak using Vulkan. You can select this one, then click on play. If that does not work, you can even go for play peak using DX12. For many user, DX12 has worked. So you can select this, then click on play. Check which one is working fine for you. If that does not work, you can try this in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties. And then in the launch option, you can type in dash force dash D3 D12. And then you can launch the game and then check. Now you can also try this dash force Vulkan. So in the launch option, you can make a right click and then go to properties and then over here. Now one more thing when you're using this dash force D3 D12, you can select this play peak using DX12 and then use this command and then check if that does not work, you can even try dash force Vulkan, dash Vulkan and you can select this one and then you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working, then you can empty this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to go to this location in registry editor. So for this, you can just type in registry editor in Windows search box and then click on registry editor over here. Click on yes to allow and then expand H key current user and then expand software and then expand find this land crab expand it and then select peak now once you select peak on the right hand side delete all settings starting with screen manager and let me inform you all saved settings will be lost when you do so so delete all the settings starting with screen manager so over here you can see from here uh, till here i have everything starting with screen manager you can select everything make a right click and then you can click on delete and then click on yes and then you can launch the game and then check you can even restart your computer once and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Click on browse of apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, the game is installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel and then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. Then click on allow another app. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. Now click on add. In my case, uh, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to Run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. Make a double click over here, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, then make a right click on the game, select properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. Still not working. This time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card drive so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website 
I am showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the amd card users uh, you can uninstall the current graphic card driver then go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the uh, latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings and then go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list so once you find the game click on the game gpu preference set it to high performance now you can launch the game now the next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files so you have to install this x86 and x64 version so download both x86 and x64 so click on it and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete once complete you have to restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game file this is important so make a right click on the game and then select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update you will see check for update option please ignore this resume update option in my case click on check for update and once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into 
1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 now click on set over here then click on OK OK, apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to do not overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI afterburner, reboot tuner, or any kind of overclocking application, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and go to the general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off nvidia overlay close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer Disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Sometimes we have extra controller connected. Disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So whichever brand you have, go to their website, select your model number and then install the latest BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. If nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. This is important. So make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse, look, uh, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.